What's up, guys? 30 minutes. Let's get going. Hope everyone's having a good day. Let's get started with jump rope. Start with two feet. Circling our hands, we're going two feet. To the other, we're bouncing twice on each foot. One, two, one, two. Going back and forth. Two hops on each foot. Exercise is going to be an arm flow. Again, we're leading with the shoulder, elbow, and then the hand. Exercise. Three, two, one, go. Let's 
So we're just bouncing, but we're twisting our hips. Letting our upper body be nice and loose, but controlled, okay? Gotta know when to allow our body to be loose and when we need to tense it up. Bouncing hip twist. We're on the balls of our feet. This is a time of breathing. We can speed up our breathing a little bit to get our heart rate going. All right, we're trying to warm the body up. Two, one, rest. Good. First movement, right leg's gonna be forward. It's gonna be a toe line step and then a side step. Three, okay? One, go. Let's go over in a nice athletic stance. Toe line step, side step. Right foot staying in front the whole time. We're tapping, stepping, tapping. There's a tap after each step. seated guard, we're stepping to the toe line and we're sidestepping to create more, more reactions from our opponent. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Left leg is going to be forward. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Toe line step, sidestepping with the right foot now. There's a tap after each step. When we tap our foot, our feet are close together, but it's given us the ability to be able to explode in different directions. Right now we're having to go to the side, but there's other options to go forward or to go backwards. So we're trying to stay on balance throughout the whole movement. Each step and each tap. Good. Next one's gonna be, we're gonna start feet parallel. It's gonna be like a burpee, but it's gonna be a parallel sprawl. Let's go, we're shooting the legs back, hips dropping down, back up. There's an opponent shooting in on us. Instead of our hands going on the floor right here, we'd be pressing on our opponent's shoulders to stop the momentum as we sprawl back. We're dropping our hips. So if our opponent gets in on us, we need to have heavy hip pressure. Let's go, 10 seconds. Next one now, we're the ones shooting in for a double leg, right leg forward. You step with the right foot, keep driving forward. Our right knee goes down, right hand goes down. Back leg comes up. You step back. Our posture is staying up when we lower our level. 
We're squatting down to lower level. The hand is helping support the knee. You can go no hands if you can. Because that we're driving forward the whole time. Good. Next round, left foot. We're stepping forward, our knees driving forward. Let's go, left foot, step forward, drive forward, back leg coming up forward. Maintain a steady breath. We're in sync with our movement. If you're moving faster than you're breathing, slow down a little bit. Keep reiterating. This minute gives you the ability to go at your own pace. So I want to push it, but I want to do things properly. Let's go, 10 seconds. Good. Next movement, gorilla pass from standing. We're gonna start parallel. We plant our right hand, left hand to 90 degrees. We shift 90 degrees. Now we're going back, left hand down, right hand. Shift 90 degrees, stand up all the way. Our feet aren't crossing or coming together. Let's go, 10 seconds. Good. Last standing exercise, right? Right legs forward. Stepping the right leg back, touching with the right hand, and back. We're in a nice, Fight stance, athletic stance, the whole time. Any type of grappling situation, when we have one foot forward, one foot back, your opponent generally, first thing, is to go after that front leg. It makes sense, because that's what's closest to him. You gotta get used to being able to step that leg back while being on balance. Let's go 10 seconds. Tap in the floor the whole time. Good. Let's go push ourselves. Left foot's gonna be forward, stepping the left foot back, touching with the left hand. Let's go. Let's go push yourself. 30 seconds. Last stand up movement. Let's 
Ten seconds. Nice guy. Feels burning. Brace it. Let's go. Push up position. There. We push up. We're twisting. Looking up at the ceiling. Push up. Switching sides. If you're having trouble balancing, widen your feet. Ten seconds. Nice. We're going to sit through now on our forearms and feet. We're on our forearms, we're on our feet. We step our left leg out. Drive our right leg through. We're on our right forearm, left foot. Looking at the ceiling. And back, switch inside. Looking up at the ceiling, opening up the chest as we drive through. Ten seconds. Nice. Let's go. Now we're going to gorilla pass from our knees. Same move in the standing. Go here. We step up our left knee. Plant the right hand. Rotate. Now our left knee's down, right knee's up. We're going back. Go 90 degrees back and forth. When my right hand's on the ground, my right knee's on the ground. Once you get the movement, you're keeping the right now the knee off the ground. Let's go, 10 seconds. Nice, guys. We're in a seated guard position. Let's go. We're going to extend into a tabletop and back, keeping our butt off the ground. Tabletop. And back. Tabletop and back. Our butts are stand off the ground. Let's go try to distribute the weight in your hands evenly throughout all of your fingers. So it's not all in your wrists. Let's go, 10 seconds. Nice. Scorpion hot, right leg up. 
We're stepping forward and back down. Hands go out. Pushing off our right foot. As we're here, we want a hollow body, hiding our ears, hiding our ears with our arms. As you get more comfortable with this, for those of you that like, want to learn a handstand, this is a movement until you come all the way up, right? But it's slowly, a little bit at a time. We need a strong, hollow body as we bring our hands to the floor. 10 seconds, let's go. Nice, guys. Going to the left. We go both sides for body coordination. Yeah? Breathe. Let's go. Body, hiding our ears. Stand on balance. Let's go push yourself. We got ten seconds. One more. Ah, nice. Straight bridges now. Feet shoulder width apart. Bridging straight up. Get a nice pace. Our elbows are tucked by our side. We're going to use it as a post. For our next movement, and a lot of movements on the ground, keeping our elbows tucked, we become more efficient. We're stronger when our limbs are close to us, to our torso. As they start to separate, they become weaker and less efficient. Exhale as we go up, engage the glutes at the top. Show five seconds. Good. Now we're doing a rising hip escape. Okay? We're going to the right side first. We bridge. We're pressing off our left foot, bringing our hips back. Bridge, lift our right foot, bringing our hips back, ideally in line with our shoulder. We're using our elbow as a post to help us with the mobility. seconds. Good. Left side. Let's go. We got two more exercises after this and we're done, right? Bridge. Now we're pressing off the left, uh, right leg. Going to our left shoulder. And left elbow.
It's a hip escape. We're escaping our hips. Going all the way to our left hip. Let's go, two more. Two more exercises. We're gonna be on our back. I'm like, three more. Legs crossed, hands down. We're lifting our hips and twisting. Lift to our right, lift to our left. Once you gain more control, just speed it up a little bit. Right now our right leg is over our left leg. Switch, left leg's over our right now. Ten seconds. Let's go, 10 seconds. seconds. Awesome job, guys. Let's go, we got two minutes of breathing. Come on. First minute, out of the mouth, All right? Once again, it's horizontal breathing. As we exhale, we're drawing our belly button In. Huh? Yeah. 
and begin. Now we're out of the nose. Don't mind the timer. And time. Good job, guys. With the breathing, again, we go fast to speed up our heart rate, right? We want to get our body going, and when we cool down, it's slower breaths to slow the heart rate. But it all starts with the mini, mini breaths to start gaining control of the diaphragm in our breathing, okay? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed. We could do this movement, this exercise, this routine, <clears throat> three times a week, stick with this routine, right? And then we move on to the next movements. We really want to perfect these movements, okay? All right, guys. Good job.